Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Banthony, and I'm here with Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. Um, it's a nice little uh, early access game that I'm actually kind of a fan of that just came out. If you know Man, uh, Mount, Mountain Blade, uh, it's, a, it's a fun little style of game, and this is actually really interesting. It's sort of a modern... Slavic guerrilla sort of style um, of Mountain Blade. As you can see, it has the big battle map here. And uh, you're playing as the leader of a little insurgency group, and you have to sort of take out everyone else um, to rule the map. Now, this did just come out like a week ago, so it's not feature complete, but it's a nice, promising little start, I would say. So we're going to fight some looters here so I can show you the battles. Because this is actually where it shined. I was very iffy on the idea um, because I remember how guns worked in um, Mount and Blade. But this actually does it well. So this is the sort of command menu where you can give commands. Um, And, uh, so here's my guys. You can give them orders. You can always go back into this map. You can tell them to charge. You can tell them to cease fire. You can tell them to follow you. You can clear the waypoints. You can tell them to retreat. I'm just going to sort of let them explore. Um, so they can find things, you know? Sound is actually really loud on this. Let's turn that down a little bit, huh? So I have a little scar here. I'm gonna follow my uh, insurgents, my volunteer squad, and see if we can find the enemy somewhere. Yeah, you can run, you can aim down sight. It's, a, it's actually like a fun little first-person shooter. Unlike... for some time. Some time. Yeah, like I said, this only has been out for a week and the basics are down pretty well, I would say. They've got all the basics, and if they keep updating it and uh, making it more polished, I can see this being a lot of fun. Oh god. I can kill the raider. <laughs> We certainly have the advantage here in this fight. Now we've got an enemy spot for you. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, so you can tell the enemy to engage, my people to engage without me. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll see what happens. So it looks like we won. Um, so yeah, there's a nice little inventory. You have to keep ammo. You have to keep food for everyone. Um, you can level yourself up. Uh, I'm going to get some more constitution now. Um, so you can see I have a lot of decent skills. And then we've got our little party menu. You can refill the squad. You can reward the troops. And then sometimes you can upgrade them. I've upgraded these guys once, I think. Let's finish these dumbasses off. Because I want some loot. So, with this, this is where you spawn, and this is where the enemies are headed. So you can sort of always know they're going to be around here, but they're not always going to be in this circle. They're going to be coming from elsewhere. I'm going to try and flank a little bit. Standing by. You have this little box you can go into to mess around with the inventory. Um, you have armor that you get from wearing stuff, and when you get shot in the battle, it goes down. But whenever you're done with the battle, it goes back to max, which I was really worried about that I'd have to keep rebuying armor, but it seems like it was kind of smart. Um, I just realized I'm really badly wounded, so I'm going to stick behind my people and just sort of give them orders from the butt from the uh, behind but yeah the battle map is kind of intuitive it's actually kind of better than what i remember mountain blade being like and then yeah you've got all the basic standard First person shooter stuff, you can crouch, you can aim down sight, you, you know, it's got decent shooting mechanic. It seems like when you reload and the clip isn't all the way empty, the magazine isn't always empty, sorry, um, that it, you just throw away the extra ammo, so that sort of fancy prone is in it, which isn't in all of them, but it's nice to have. Like I said, you can just tell people to charge and then they just. Well, I've had it where I'll tell people to charge and they'll run right into the enemy and I'll get mowed down instantly. Whereas if they're on proceed with caution, they'll take cover, they'll stop moving, all that sort of stuff. Start moving up behind them now. Yeah, I'm really hoping they add binoculars, or at least more scopes. Because it is kind of hard to see from a distance, but there's at least one scope rifle in the game yet, I just don't have it. We're hunting down like two people, so... This might be a little bit of a wild goose chase for a while. Oh, no. We've got uh, leaves. Well, the Q isn't working. Oh, there we go. It's because of the rock. You can lean. I'll tell my mercenaries to charge in. at least get closer so I can sort of flank them a little bit. down. I'm 
chase him down, guys. Yeah, after this battle I'll show more of the overworld stuff, because it's actually, you know, it's feature complete on a basic level. So we can take all the stuff, we get some gold, we can take all the stuff in the inventory. Then they're dead for the map. Those were just bandits. You can also fight all the normal factions, but you start out not hostile with them. So you can go into their towns. You can attack towns. You can go to the hospital. Uh, and then you can recruit and you can trade. And trading is sort of, uh, you know, it's what you would expect. The, the interesting thing is they pay more for certain things. Like this guy pays more for garbage, but it's such a low quality thing anyway. It doesn't make me much money, but you know, deal. You can buy equipment. Save up for the kata. And you can hold down the space button to zoom around at the speed of sound. Because you got places to go. Trade. What do they want here? Food. Food cans. Okay. Deal. But of course you need food to, for your guys and you gotta pay them, so. These guys can be upgraded. There we go, mercenary rifle squad. Let's go to, over to Zinkova. They want f flour. So let's run over and see if we can find some flour to sell them. That's the real way to make money, is find somewhere that looks like gold. These people want flour too. See, so now we buy all the flour here. I want iron chunks. So we pay 455, and then when we run it back over to Garinka, trade with them. We made a 200 profit. Then we can buy the iron chunks for 300. We'll go over to Zinkov and see if there's any iron chunks here. Then run over to Lipno. Oh yeah, look at all the iron here. These people want matches. So we're down like, you know, 2,000, but then we run back over to Zishkishkiv. 
as you can see, it's a very, it reminds me a lot of the weapons and the landscape of, like, uh, PUBG. There we go. That was a nice little profit, huh? Yeah, you can buy, buy all this different stuff with different amounts of armor. Armor doesn't seem as useful as getting something with the scope, finally. My only problem is I want to get the VSS, um, Vinterez sort of, um, look alike, but I don't know if it actually has a scope or not. I want something with a long-range scope. An MG section seems kind of good. But... Pay everyone's salary. Let's do a battle. Let's go fight these 17. That seems more my speed. Actually, I'm going to withdraw... Why did it? Oh, I guess we're fighting anyway. Get up on this hill. I wanted to go fight them by the road, but you know. I'm in a position. Get up on the ridge so we have a better, better sight lines. Now we're getting like, this is an RPK. That's a nice little uh, weapon to have. I hate that when you start, you start with like a Makarov, and all every squad you'll buy, even like the shitty ones, have like SKSs and way better stuff than a Makarov pistol. Yeah, and the ballistics are actually kind of nice. They're long range and you can sort of follow the bullet trail. Because there's bullet hop and stuff. doing a good job. It seems like our uh, machine guns are uh, doing it to us. Oh, we're getting flanked from behind. Okay. I got him pinned down over here. Looks like we got more contact back here.
And four enemies left. Yeah, I think it's a good balance between what you're able to do in person and one guy and uh, what your squads can do. I'm hoping they have vehicles at some point. That feels like it'd be a cool little addition too. Even if it's just for the over map. Decent chunk of change and a decent chunk of uh, stuff. And we can level up. But uh, we're at sort of like 20 minutes, so I think you sort of get the idea of the game. Like I said, it's early access, but it's only been in there for a week, and it seems like it was pretty polished from this. Like, I wouldn't say polished, but everything you sort of want from it is there. Like, I can already see this being something that you would buy for like 30 bucks and be like, oh, it's, it's pretty alright. But the fact that it's still getting updated is really its uh, forte. So, have a nice one, everybody, and thanks for watching. Bye.